Hey everybody, my name is Cholova7, I'm the new driver for Minardi Formula 1 team. I'll be driving the F1 2000 season right here on YouTube at Cholova7. Be prepared for round 1, see you there. Hello and welcome guys to this first episode of the F1 2000 career mode uh, right here at YouTube on Cholova7. We're about you know, to set up our career and drive of course for Minari as you would have seen that stupid intro that I made you know, uh, as a driver presentation. So <laughs> so let's go for Telefonica Minari for Metal, because I'm of course a Minari driver you now. Let's make it a full season and way Minari. Welcome to the start of your Formula One Just career. Go for you know, um, 15 lap, 15 minutes qualifying for the career now. Uh, and well, let's see the wear level. I don't even know what it is. Yeah. No, I have some assist, you know, because I'm off keyboard, but otherwise I can do the. Yeah. Full damage, you know, intermediate, so it's it's not too easy. Of course, shouldn't be too difficult, you know, even though I'm in a minority, but then again, here we go. Uh, so yeah guys, uh, the emails I'm totally not interested in because they're not from the actual uh, managers from the another team And where is... Okay, let's see where we go uh, Main hub, yeah main hub So we go to session, qualifying And there we go guys Albert Park, Melbourne for the qualification and I see some tobacco commercials there, that's really bad You know, it's a mod, you know To make it realistic, but I'm sorry for those tobacco commercials next to the track uh, Let's just forget about that and actually, I, myself, I, I barely have any, um, Let me show you around. I don't have any, uh, sound. <laughs> we have never accelerated the time in the qualification, anyways. Blah, 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 blah. So let's have a quick look at the car. Oh, come on, introduction. I'm, I'm probably speaking through this for you guys, but I can barely hear it because I have the sound low. Two seconds. Up, audio layers. Um, well, let's just uh, do this. Go to track and drive out. Really? <laughs> well, I have to drive out indeed. Then it's a good thing, I guess. Because it's more authentic, and this is the wrong camera for me actually. Or this is just a bit like this. Yeah, there we go. So guys, here we go for our qualifying outlap in F1 2000. The career mode, round one, and look back. Put uh, you know to make it, make it even more authentic. You know, I put uh, the ideal line off because I, I know I'm about to try to break it on more circuits. So I should I could of course you know sometimes I break myself. But, ooh, well, lazy. I put the traction control actually to medium. You know, even though in this this season, this season I should say, I believe Formula One was about or to have the traction control already has traction control. But even though you know it makes the car sound more nice with the V10, you know, so a little bit less. I'm actually having trouble catching up to uh, Lazy and getting past him. Uh, in time for my qualifying hot tap. So then I'm going to try to do one or two hot taps. Oh, ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> and the stewards will be looking into an incident between a Lazy and Joe Lover 7 after the qualification. <laughs> Oops, guys, not bad. I actually put the fuel mode into a ridge. There we go. Got some extra power in this uh, beast, you know. And there's a car leaving the pit lane. After I did some practice, you know, with, uh, for you know the pre-recording setup, you know, on this track actually, and uh, I believe I drove a 132 high, so in a qualification session, so I should be able to at least drive 133 right now. Of course, I put the difficulty of the assist a bit higher now. Difficulty, so. Well, I could have tracked there, but it was. It counts still. I hope. Please. Oh no, the lap time I don't see it counting. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Traction tilt does make it a bit more alive, the car. Less traction tilt, I should say. I 
I've noticed also in that test, you know, that uh, breaking the brakes on the front of this car is actually really nice. A few laps at least. There we go. Last four, and then mess it up completely. Oh, <laughs> guys, this is a horrible lap. This is a horrible lap. Oh my. Well, that's 139. Well, P30. I'm in front of Herbert, Johnny Herbert, so. Phew. Well, that was uh, my first attempt in this qualification, I guess. Do I really have to see this animation now? Well, it's actually nice animation. They made it well for the mod, so. I guess. Yep. Yeah. So guys, um, <laughs> first uh, run in the qualification was a misery, as you could have seen, right uh, there, uh, well, apart from air rules, nice. And I'm actually 21st now, blimey, that's uh, really bad, really bad. I messed up. I was. Look, he's actually moving over, nice. Mr. Root. Uh, Alexander Root. Actually, girlfriend time is running out, don't mind. You better hope this Kultart guy doesn't block you right now. There we go, thank you, Kultart. Why is this as well? I actually can't see anything because of this qualifying message right here on my screen. So I actually have to go to Cockpit Cam, which actually looks pretty nice. <laughs> I actually didn't pay attention to my fourth sector there. I was busy uh, passing Mr. Coolcard. And we're actually uh, losing pace again. Which is a shame. We should be realistic now, I'm in a minority, what, what, what was I expecting to do, you know? Only good lap I did, I messed up like this, you know? Or... Or... No, <laughs> not at all. <laughs> Little improvement, but not enough to be in that normal position. So yeah guys, we finished the qualification in P9 right there. P19 I should say, P19, because we're of course in a minority. So what else could I have done? Because my teammate is 21st and Jean Lazy is in 20th, Nick Heisman last in 22nd. In front of me is Pedro Okay. Uh, in front of me is Pedro Dennis, Mika Salo, Eddie Irvine, Pedro De La Rosa. Uh, Johnny Herbert is in the 14th, Joshua Stappen is 13th. Ricardo Zonta is 12th, Heinz Howard Franson is 11, Alexander Woods is 10th, Jarno Truly is 9th, Giancarlo Fisichella is 83, Jensen Button is 70, why are we doing this? 7th, 6th is Rolf, Rolf Schumacher, 5th is Jacques Villeneuve, 9th is David Coulthard, 3rd is Michael Michael Schumacher, 2nd <laughs> is Mika Hakkinen, and 3rd is actually Rubens Barrichello. Very nice. So guys, this was a qualification. I'll be right back with the race. Hey everybody, and I'm back for the race, you know, part 2 of this video. And we're starting from P19. We're driving for Minardi, probably Minardi driver by the way. But um, this is of course the Minardi challenge, you know, where we're going to try, you know, and reenact a close to realistic, you know, Minardi season in F1 2000 with this uh, career mode. But of course, you know, try and get, you know, one or two points in the, in the season, you know, and have some nice battles uh, towards the front and hopefully not crash out of the race. Because this is one thing I have to warn you about. If I crash, uh, because the damage is quite on high sensitive, you know, on the, with this mod. If I crash and retire, I do not restart the race. I do not restart the race, I repeat. I just go on to the next season. So this part, you know, with the race could be very short or could be, you know, just the eight laps, I hope, at least, of the race. 
long and you know then when we go we go to the next episode uh, next time but if i manage to somehow crash you know maybe only the first time you know if if it happens uh, i will actually uh, you know restart because this is the first way for you to say serious you know so i actually should be doing it um well quite proper proper you know but yeah we go to the track in the Minardi, you know to the track so here we go you know to the track in the Minardi about to go race for the Melbourne Grand Prix in Australian, Australian Grand Prix in Melbourne Park. Albert Park, Melbourne, yeah. Um, and we're starting all the way on the back in the 19th position. 19, yeah. Yeah, Cholo was said with a nice um, Ayrton Senna helmet, which I got to choose thanks to the mod, I guess. And we shall stick to... Yeah. I have no 27, you wish me good luck, that's kind. See if we get a good start. We will stay in the cockpit here you now for uh, the race. It's more authentic, I guess. Um, actually, I yeah, don't have a too bad start, I guess. We break late, try to go on the outside road, and we get hit by our teammate. Really? Hey, Mark Genet, what are you doing, my friend? You're pushing me wide. Stop pushing. Oh, front wings and flying and everything. There's just for stepping. He was the boss, and we're actually side by side with, uh, I believe it was Pedro Dennis. Oh, look at Joss. He has a great start, just like me, actually. I have a fantastic start. Oh, and France and Israel are thrown away. Oh, no. Again, pieces flying through the air. I should say, by the way, of course, a real uh, 2000 season didn't have points uh, other than first to sixth, but I think because of the game this is modded on, you know, we will have points if we finish 10th. So. That would be amazing uh, for the Nardi Graffi, you know, so let's actually go uh, follow Jos for Steppen on his uh, charge through the field. That's true, he even did breaks very late. Just like he should have, should have done apparently in real life in the Formula 1, later than most uh, drivers. And, oh, I was actually charging on the inside, but that uh, cost me time. Whoa. There's a big guy behind me, and also a big guy in front of me. But I break I break myself there. And we just catch up by doing something strange, I guess. Actually see how much fuel we got left and how much stuff we got a pit. We got a pit in lap four and we need actually eight laps, so this, this video will not be too long I guess. going to the final position because I'm actually going to have a strange shot right here. There we go. Haha, <laughs> Yoshi. Goodbye, boss. Mr. the boss. There we go. Actually, the big step of time. I used to be a fan of yours, so I shouldn't be making uh... He's actually without a bloody front wing as well. What? No, he's not. He's not. Oh, <laughs> that's what you get for making fun of the other boss. He just overtakes you again. And what the... was that? <laughs> we are 13th and Joss is 13th. Hmm. There was some late break in there. <laughs> and actually, we're catching, we're still, you know, kind of, I'm not catching, we're close to the top 10, I guess, because Physical is right ahead of us, and then uh, I think it's Jensen Button, or whoever drove for, actually, Button drove for a winning in this season, so that will be. Uh, actually, I have no clue. Works? No? Yeah, works. And some works, yeah. Corner, the second lap. I'm oh, actually losing positions now. I'll actually put them in rich fuel mode for a brief moment here. Yeah. But actually, no, it actually helps with this mod, or it actually is counterproductive. But the DRS zone? What are you talking about? Right now, the DRS zone here is F1 2000. 2000. I was trying to say you know, 2000, trying to. Think of a number behind it, but of course they didn't just put that. So I think indeed the rich fuel mode is uh, working <coughs> a lot. Actually, it's because we just drove a purple sector, so apparently it is working. 
There we go. So my favorite race of the 2000 season. Uh, well, Germany was um, was interesting with a lot of safety cars and of course the win by Barrichello and the rain and everything, you know. So that's a brilliant strategy. Um, I guess. I guess 2000 in general was an exciting season. You know, of course, um, the Belgian Grand Prix of the amazing overtake by uh, Hakkinen on uh, on Schumacher. That was amazing. So. But I think you know, uh, 2000, uh, the early early I should say late 90s and uh, early 1000s, uh, 2000. You know, those were awesome seasons in the Formula One. Even though you know we had um, donuts by Michael Schumacher, which I didn't actually like at all. So. But then again, there was some like there was always action, you know. And lately, um, last few years, the formula is becoming a bit, uh, I say this, predictable, even more than it used to be. Because I think I don't know who did the numbers, but actually, in the last so many uh, se uh, seasons, or the last hundred races, we only had so many winners, like a few, like just actually uh, like five or six different winners, I believe, in the last 100 races. Whilst before, that was you know way more uh, winners and, uh, and everything, you know. So. This is a shame. Oh, she, uh, we're not burning any, any more fuel than we usually do, but we do have to box for the pit stop this time, this lap, so. I'm actually gonna do this with fuel mode. So we're in P12, still, because we're not catching up anymore to the cars ahead. The film was on the pet because I don't drive myself off again. There you go. Yeah. I see it faster now, you know, when I put on stamina for some reason. Oh no. I messed up there, guys. I messed up big time. Pits for our pit stop for the Minardi team. And there's my pit crew there getting ready. There's the frost and uh, silver and everything. Ooh, nice hand camera. Rain, rain. Go, go, go! And we are now in the fourth place. Yeah. Wow. How much time I made on Janae, or did Janae just pass me through the pit stops? I think the first option. <laughs> Look, that's Herbert. Nice. Oh, jeez, he's so slow. I'm actually now gonna move ahead over Stephen. There we go. <laughs> We're running just ahead of where we expected to be. Keep pushing. Put the brakes to the rear now. I'd actually enjoy the animation of doing that. Nice. Mm -hmm. So, guys, are we, are we ready for this? Try and finish in the top ten. Hmm. Now I'm actually now out of a uh, speak speech. Um, um, we call this stuff to speak about. Yeah. But uh, we're actually catching up to a lot of cars now, thanks to the pit stops. Amazing. Let's see the Keller, so he didn't need to come out, come, ahead of, uh, come out ahead of me again. Sorry for my sorry now. But we're close right now. And we are already have a bit of warm tires, I guess. Yeah. So we have a shot at P11 now.
I know, take him. I shall, I shall, Mr. Uh, engineer. That was a bad entrance. And then, of course, I had a bad exit there, so that's a close speed. Pretty serious face, my goodness. Trying, I'm actually trying, trying to catch up. It's uh, very nice, but slow me down. Actually, probably my fastest lap so far. Immediately. So, yeah, um. I'm with species, but I guess um, enjoy the uh, V10 here. Come on, we can get into the top 10, we can do this. One half left to go. Come on, Cello. Break myself now just you know, to know uh, to mess up. <laughs> At least behind me there was a big gap now. Ah, it's gonna be hard you know to overtake with the camera. Hmm, oh my. This car was not made for a uh, top 10. Anyways. At least I'm gonna try and give my all. Look, look, yes, yes, come on, we're in the points, and I'm gonna get a physical out now, because I have to break at the, I have to drive out the front wing there, break off a little fresh off, oh yes, oh mama, there we go, we're ninth, we're in the points, at least on this uh, F1 2000 season, <laughs> oh, but I know physical is faster than me, you know, so I gotta defend now. It's my mirror so I can see him because there's a lot of people in front of him. Uh oh. Uh oh. No, Vizicella, don't! No, Vizicella. No. Giancarlo, no. Cholo is faster than you. Can you confirm you understood this message? It was actually to Massa, not Giancarlo. So. Um, yeah. <laughs> Oh my goodness me, he is right up by Champo now. Oh, <laughs> I should stop breaking so late. Oh, this is actually the last lap. I should really stop breaking so late. I'll just close the gap here. There we go, guys. Renardi. The minority is gonna take points! We're ninth! <laughs> yes, guys, come on! There we go. I must say, it was rather um, exhausting <laughs> to try so so hard <laughs> to win the race. Or actually, to, to win points, I should say. Because usually, I, I battle for the win, now I battle for points. So. <laughs> Grid 19, and we finish uh, ninth with two points. Nice. That's for stopping in a nice 11th. Marc Genet is in uh, 17th. And we see Jano Trulli with a DNF. And uh, Villeneuve also with a DNF. That's actually what the, how we got into 9th because we were 12th, you know. But uh, we also managed to overtake Giancarlo right before the uh, end of the race there. You're and look! The we are 9th, of course, in the championship as well. And, and Rubens Barrichello actually won the race. David Coulthard was. Um, 
second, Michael Schumacher was third, Mika Hackner fourth, Ralph Schumacher, nice, actually for the BMW right then, fifth, Jensen Button in sixth, Alexander Words with the minority, so we have the mild seven, Benetton Playlife, whatever that is. Um, in seventh, and Ricardo Zonta with the BR Honda in eighth, and me of course, Jojo Lover seven in ninth with the Telefonica Minardi for Metal, Fisichella in tenth, and the rest you know by now. So guys, let's look at, have a look at the Constructors Championship, where Telefonica Minardi is sixth, thanks to me. Yeah. <laughs> so um, I guess we'll see us in the next round three, round two, wherever that's gonna be. But now we're gonna celebrate our points with the team. Yeah. So yeah, guys, um, I thank you for watching. It was a bit of a boring episode in my opinion, but until the end, I guess, because this at least this episode we did battle, you know, to get positions. So, and we we had some rewards, you know, we got we got ninth thanks to people blowing up their engine, but we did it, we did it. So. I thank you for watching, uh, see you guys next time, uh, don't forget, forget to press thumbs up and write uh, somewhere up there, you know, on the subscribe button, and um, we'll see us next time. Thank you for watching, this was Chill Level 7, have a good one. This broadcast was brought to you by Chill Level 7, I thank you for watching, and don't forget to check out our subscribe button a like button and our comment section down below.